Hi, my name is Olivia and I invite you to join me on my journey on the Camino Francis. Today I travel from Ponferrada to Via Franca del Virzo, a charming town that captivated my heart with its picturesque beauty. The next day I will continue my walk towards Linares, a destination I didn't quite reach for an unexpected reason. At this point I'm one with the mud. It does not make me feel good at the moment. I just started crying. Oh, what a day. This is day I don't remember. I just now left my albergue in Ponferrada and I'm heading towards the coffee shop where I went yesterday and absolutely loved it. I'm hoping it's going to be open. Uh, the official opening time is 8.30 but I noticed that it's not super accurate so I'll see about that because I would really love a coffee and the amazing was day maybe yesterday and after that today I'll be walking for 26 kilometers to Via Franca del Bierzo where I'm staying in an albergue again I've been getting so tired now in the beginning of the trip I had a few less albergues in a row and a few more private rooms now I think this is my fifth day of albergue only and it's really getting to me because I'm a very light sleeper, whatever I do, even with um, earplugs. Last night, for example, the bathroom was linked to the room and it was kind of an open space. And whenever someone would go in the bathroom area, the light would turn on automatically. And just that itself woke me up so many times. But anyway, it will be fine. I had a good mood, so that's what matters. It is open. What a dream. I am now in Camponaraya. This is not the most scenic walk, but it's always like that outside the cities, you end up walking by the road. And in a way, it kind of makes it nicer when you find a very scenic route and you're like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. You also went through the industrial sites, so then, you know, it's all about balance. This is a beautiful walk. I'm now walking from Camponaraya to Cacabelos which for a Romanian person sounds wrong. And I got about one hour left. raining again so I'll probably stop here in this town I've come across this place in Cacabelos and I'm having the best empanadas
I am now in Via Franca del Vierzo and it is amazing. This is such an amazing place. Uh, I've been walking with a friend and now we're going to different accommodations. And oh my god, what a lovely place! This is surrounded by mountains. It's so green, it looks amazing in the rain as well. It's just. I'm mind blown. And I'm, I can just now see my accommodations, which is beautiful. This is where I'm staying. Look at this place. Loving my accommodation, and now I'm going to meet my friends from dinner or maybe just some tapas. The city is absolutely stunning, but the weather is not. <laughs> anyway, excited. I'm excited. I just had dinner and now I'm ready to go to sleep. It's 9 30, <laughs> which is a great time for pilgrims to go to sleep. I'm super tired. Tomorrow I'll be walking for 31 kilometers to Limiares and it's supposed to be the most difficult day and the most difficult walk on the Camino. <laughs> Am I feeling hopeful? Nope, but I'm in a good mood. It's been yet another lovely day. I met some amazing people lately and I'm having the best time. So I'm sure it's gonna be all right. Anyway, I'm really tired, I'm going to sleep, and I will see you tomorrow! Bye! Good morning! It is dark, it is raining, and well, I'm having breakfast. As ready for the rain as I can be. I really wanted to buy a proper rain poncho. Uh, people bought them from the pilgrim shops around the town, but I didn't get one and now I highly regret it. I find myself really needing it and there's no shop open. This rain situation I got going on, so my rain jacket and plus this very poor quality bag material rain cover are still not great. Water still gets through. Um, so I could really wish a proper, proper rain poncho. But anyway, I don't have it. I need to work with what I have. And hopefully the weather is gonna get better. Today, everyone pretty much left their um, luggage to be picked up by a company because this is supposed to be the hardest day. The elevation is very high for today. I still got my backpack with me because I got my camera. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. I'll take many breaks and hope for the best and I'm also going past the normal distance the normal distance I think is 28 kilometers I'm going for 31 to the next town called Liniares is so beautiful so far I am assuming I'm going up that hill not sure which hill I'm climbing but I'm definitely climbing something <laughs> today <laughs> um, but ah, this is so beautiful in October because you can see the beautiful autumnal colors 
I actually think with the rain and the fog and the autumn colors might be nicer than it would be in the summer. Maybe not. I'm sure it's beautiful either way. But just wow, that's amazing. And I'm feeling great. Famous last words. <laughs> I just reached the first village. I don't know if I'll stop here. I need to check how long I got to the next one because I do want to take a break, especially with this pretty heavy rain. So I'll see. Okay, so there's another town one hour away from here and I will stop there if possible. I'm not stopping here because I think it's too early into my journey and I have a long way to go today. So. It's raining so much. <laughs> I'm really hoping this is going to at least stop for a little bit because otherwise my clothes are gonna be wet in no time. But yeah, so far there hasn't been any climb. But so far it's been just this flat walk by the road, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> I noticed there are two routes uh, on the map. One is blue and it's on top and it seems like more of a climb and this one is by the road. And I'm actually wondering if I'm on the right one, as in the more scenic one. However, because it's blue on the Camino app, I'm thinking maybe that one is an alternative and this is the main one. I just follow the arrows here. So I'm hoping I took the right route. <laughs> but anyway, this is probably better given the heavy rain. I just stopped under a bridge because it's the only dry spot. And um, yeah, 20 something minutes. To the next town where I'm really really hoping for a cafe or a place to stop and get warm have a cup of coffee and take a little break and then I think the steep walk is coming also I'm actually wearing this hood just in case <laughs> it looks like I'm not wearing anything on my head so let's keep going I think that place is open. <laughs> so exciting! Finally, take a break. It's really nice being here. idea how long I got to go. I decided to take a break under this balcony. It's been raining non-stop and it's not just a drizzle, it's proper rain. 
And the problem is that my clothes are getting wet, wet underneath. My leggings are completely wet. Like whenever I step, I feel the water coming into my shoe. <laughs> and I got a long way to go and I got a climb to do as well. And I'm really hoping for this to stop at least for a little bit. Um, if I go and sit in a restaurant to take a break, it kind of feels worse because I'm starting to feel the wet clothes whilst I get warm from walking. So yeah, I'll probably stop at a coffee shop soon. I think it's 25 minutes to the one that I found on the map. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I have no problem with the walking. I'm feeling great. I'm enjoying every second of it. But my main problem is the fact that my clothes are wet and I don't have a proper rain poncho, which I should have had. I know, but it's a bit late for that. If I find one soon, I will get one. But I don't see this happening in these villages, so lucky me. Okay, so I just spoke to someone and apparently there are six more kilometers until the steep walk and it seems like it's very steep. Everyone says that it takes a very, very long time to do it. Not sure how I'm feeling about that. <laughs> but yeah, so six more kilometers and then the steep walk and then after that it should be fine because my last 3k to Linares are supposed to be downhill. Not that that's much better, but still. <laughs> Anyway, I'll keep walking in the rain. My leggings are completely wet and I'm starting to feel really cold because of that. It's not the wisest decision to keep going like this, but I'll keep going and see how I'm feeling. There should be more towns on the way, at least. So this is not like the first day when there's absolutely nothing and I was just struggling in a forest for a very long time. So. I just started crying and it turns out <laughs> the walk is the least of my problems because the luggage company just informed me that I haven't sent my luggage today because due to the recent changes I've done to my bookings they assumed that I might want to change today as well so they just didn't pick it up although it was booked for today now I'm not really sure what to do uh, now it's left at this albergue and the person working there doesn't speak English at all so I, I was trying to talk to him via Google Translate so I was trying to speak Spanish but the thing is I have my laptop and my gimbal for my camera in, in that trolley which is quite valuable for many reasons because I also got many things in my laptop and it's really stressing me out because it just depends on someone to send it without me prepaying for it I think it's going to be sorted but it does not make me feel good at the moment especially since i'm arriving somewhere without anything i don't have my clothes either in my backpack at the moment i am carrying my camera so i don't know one option is to get a hotel room because then i wouldn't need that many things like i could just sleep and whatever and get in set tomorrow or get it sent via taxi but then it will cost a lot and the price is probably gonna be the same for me getting 
a single room or paying for a taxi. So I'll see what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it can get sorted. But yeah, not great. But it's interesting how when you got bigger problems, <laughs> the walk and the wet clothes and everything doesn't even matter anymore. Which I guess is a good lesson. I'm assuming this is a steep walk. It looks like it. It is very, very, very muddy. Like at this point, I'm one with the mud. <laughs> But I'm just going in a hurry because I'm stressing out about my luggage, so this is the motivation I didn't necessarily want, but here it is. Okay, this is pretty difficult, especially with the mud situation. But it will be fine, at least it stopped raining, which is amazing. keeps going for a while. I'm just stepping whatever now. And the mud and the water. <laughs> yeah, hoping not too long left. Yay! That's finished. So it seems like um, the road continues like this between the villages, so it's just very steep forest hike. Um, meanwhile, I'm trying to reach my luggage company and they're not replying like out of the entire Camino and they're very prompt. Today, they're not replying. And yeah, not great. The sun is rising though. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the second one. Hoping the last one, but I doubt it. But look at this situation here with the water just beautiful. But the sun is still up. Ish. <laughs> wow, just came out of the forest and saw this. Beautiful. This is so beautiful! I mean, the mud is not great, but it's sunny and I got this amazing view. So I talked to my luggage company and asked if they could send my luggage by a taxi and I'll be checking. Hopefully this is gonna be sorted out. I'm just stressing out and I probably shouldn't because I think this is gonna get sorted. But you know. It's difficult to completely ignore it. But anyway, it wasn't as difficult as I thought. It wasn't as difficult as the first day uh, in the Pyrenees. I think that was much harder because that was continuously uphill for a very long time whilst this was shorter uphill. <laughs> Again, hope I'm not speaking too soon. Look at these views. Stunning. But it might rain again, so <laughs> not getting my hopes up. It's raining again, and the wind is crazy. Oh, what a day! So things got sorted. I found a taxi for 35 euros. So then I was trying to explain to the taxi that I wasn't at my destination yet because they told me I had to pay when, when the taxi driver arrives. But I was trying to explain, look, <laughs> I'm not there yet though, so can I transfer you some money? Anyway, long story short, the taxi driver wouldn't understand the fact that I was not there yet. So I just looked at my closest place I could book on Google Maps, which was La Laguna. And I booked this other albergue and I just told the taxi driver, meet me here, I'm here. 
and he did so I only walked for 25 kilometers instead of the 31 I will walk for longer tomorrow and now I am this albergue called La Escuela and I had my luggage delivered by taxi so things got sorted not great that I lost 35 euros but I'm happy at least it was all right <laughs> now it's sunny now I'll try to sort my laundry out and tomorrow I'm finally staying in a hotel I'm really grateful that things got sorted this place had a dryer so my clothes are finally dry which I'm really grateful for as well tomorrow I'm staying in an actual hotel I've had so many albergues at this point that I'm really tired and I'm really in desperate need for my own space so I'm really looking forward to that now I'm left with 34 kilometers for tomorrow because today I've done less than I was supposed to but just knowing that a hotel is waiting for me at the end of the walk it's probably gonna give me the right motivation it's supposed to be easier as well and hopefully maybe it's not gonna rain as much as it did today which was a lot today has been non-stop raining now I'm just going to relax in my bed and then go to sleep and I will see you tomorrow